Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to install Mac OS 14 Sonoma Beta. I'm going to show you how you can download and install the new Mac OS 14 Sonoma Beta on your Mac right now. For some of you who caught Apple's 2023 WWDC, you may be chomping at the bit to get a hold of the latest version of Mac OS. While the wait can often be the most exciting part of receiving something, some of you like to have things as soon as possible. Fortunately, there is a way to gain access to Macos Sonoma immediately. However, you should bear in mind that this is an incredibly early release, so don't be surprised if there are some small issues. Proceed with caution, and naturally make a backup of your device. With that in mind, I'm going to take a look at what's new in Macos Sonoma, and how you can get it earlier than the public release. I'll also take a look at compatibility between Macs and this operating system, as well as a couple of small things to keep in mind when installing it. There's plenty to get excited about with Macos Sonoma, so let's jump right in. What's new in Mac OS Sonoma? Announced during the 2023 WBDC, the new Mac OS Sonoma contains a wealth of improvements and features over Mac OS Ventura. One of the largest features arriving to the operating system is the inclusion of widgets, including a brand new widget gallery. From playing a podcast to turning off the lights in your house, there's now a widget for nearly anything. Even better, continuity allows users to add iPhone widgets to their desktop without the need of installing them to the Mac directly. Additionally, there's also new slow motion screensavers featuring fantastic locations from across the globe, helping users show off their beautiful Mac displays. What's even cooler is that once a user logs in, the screensaver will blend seamlessly into their desktop wallpaper. Apple has also included new video conferencing features including presenter overlay that helps speakers stay in focus while sharing their screen. When can I download Mac OS Sonoma? It sort of depends. The official version of Mac OS Sonoma isn't going to be publicly available until fall 2023. Furthermore, the public beta isn't going to be available until July 2023. Right now, if you're looking to get your hands on Mac OS 14, you're going to be looking for the developer beta. Fortunately, the developer beta is currently available for free with Apple waiving the typical $1.99 per year fee that usually comes with access. How do I install the Mac OS Sonoma Beta on my Mac? If you're looking to install the Mac OS 14 Beta, you're going to need a couple of things first. If you're not already a member of the Apple Beta software program, you're going to need to sign up for it. Additionally, you're also going to need the Apple Developer app. Fortunately, I can show you how to accomplish both of these tasks. Note that Mac OS 14 is around 4.07 GB, so make sure to have plenty of space available on your hard drive. If you already have access to the Apple Beta software program, you can follow these steps. Additional steps for enrolling in the program are below. First, you'll need to download and install the Apple Developer app from the Apple App Store. Once the app is installed, open it and choose account from the bottom left corner. Sign in with your Apple ID. Then select Enroll Now and follow the instruction on screen to complete the sign-up process. I already enrolled. Next, you will go to System Settings General Software Update in order to install Mac OS Sonoma. From here, click on the eye that is next to Updates and select Mac OS Sonoma Developer Beta from the drop-down menu. Give it a moment, and then click the Upgrade Now button. I already upgraded. Wait for the download to finish. Once done, click the Install Now button. During this time, Mac OS 14 will begin installing on your device, and that's all there is to it. Once complete, you'll be enjoying the developer beta of Mac OS 14. A couple of important things to remember is that this is in fact a beta. While many folks online seem to agree that it's a rather stable release, don't be surprised if there are bugs and other wonkiness occurring. Once you download and install the Mac OS Sonoma beta, you can begin enjoying all of the features that arrive with this new software. However, if you find that your device doesn't receive support for this update, or you're not willing to take the plunge, you can at least get a feel for the new Mac OS by trying out the new wallpapers. They look great, even on older Mac screens. Of course, if you're willing to take the plunge on Mac OS 14, why not try out iOS 17 as well? Having both Mac OS 14 and iOS 17 can put you at an advantage, as they truly pair well together. We also have advice on how to get iPad OS 17 on your device as well. Even if you're looking for ways to acquire the latest version of watchOS, we've got you covered there as well. It's never a dull moment when Apple releases a wave of new updates for their devices, 
and the latest round of updates certainly contain some exciting new additions. That's it for today guys, this is how to install Mac OS Sonoma on your computers. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here, see you next time.